Volvo S90 review. The Volvo S90 is a handsome and well-equipped rival to German exact models, but is not quite as good to drive. The Volvo S90 is the company's best crack yet at taking on the dominant German brands in the premium executive saloon sector. Its diesel engines aren't quite the best in class but they're more than refined enough, and the Swedish sophistication in the cabin makes it an appealing environment in which to undertake long journeys. No, it's not quite as plush all round as a Mercedes E-Class, but it's pleasant enough. The real strengths of Volvo's offering are that cruising refinement and, as is often the case with the Swedish brand, the amount of safety kit on board. Indeed, the S90 also gets a decent haul of regular equipment too, making it one of the better kitted offerings in an area of the market that traditionally has long auctions lists. The driving dynamics aren't quite on a par with the class benchmark, though, the S90 isn't quite as agile as the likes of the 5 Series, and it doesn't quite soak up British road bumps as effectively as an E-Class. Our choice. Volvo S90 D4 Momentum The Volvo S90 is the biggest saloon car in the Swedish manufacturer's lineup, although the more expensive Range Rover rivaling XC90 SUV is the Range flagship. The S90 takes on large executive saloon cars like the Audi A6, BMW 5 Series and Mercedes E-Class, although as a front-wheel drive machine it is closest to the Audi in terms of layout, and you can also get an S90 with four-wheel drive. Volvo XC90 Review While the old S80 was thoroughly outclassed by its German rivals, the S90 for sale today shares the XC90's up-to-date platform architecture which means it provides a driving experience that's much improved. Like the XC90, the S90 specs include an engine lineup featuring turbocharged four-cylinder engines designed to maximize efficiency without compromising performance. There's also a petrol electric plug-in hybrid model coming that naturally shares its tech with the XC90 T8, we are looking forward to sharing our S90 T8 review soon. As you'd expect from a big executive saloon, the S90 interior is one of its highlights. There's plenty of room for five adult passengers, and a pretty big boot for luggage. The S90 comes in three trim levels, starting with the S90 Momentum which looks pretty well equipped against comparable German rivals. The spec sheet includes 17-inch alloys, leather seats, heated up front, and the Volvo Sensus infotainment system. Next up is the S90 Inscription, which adds Napa leather and walnut trim highlights, plus a 12.3-inch active TFT driver info display and 10-spoke 18-inch alloy wheels. The S90R design is a little more performance-orientated, and comes with sports seats, black headlining, perforated leather steering wheel, drive mode settings and black diamond-cut alloys. You can get pro versions of all three trim levels, which adds a power driving seat, active headlamps, heated windscreen and steering wheel, LED fog lamps and Volvo Uncall. Engines, performance and drive. 3.8 Excellent cruising refinement, but the chassis feels either too stiff or too soft. Larger wheels than tried quality, too. The best-selling engine in the S90's UK lineup will be the more modest of the two four-cylinder units on offer, a 187bhp motor badged D4. It is, in effect, the same engine that you'll find in an XC90, but detuned slightly, although this doesn't really affect performance in the lighter S90. With 400 Nm of torque on tap, there's a vein of smoothly delivered acceleration as the S90 D4 gets from 0 to 60 mph in 7.8 seconds. It's a strong performer in gear, too, it beat Mercedes E220D in our back-to-back -back tests between 50 mph and 70 mph.